Ooh, yeah, that is solid. Hey guys, my name's Jonathan Brown Menzies, and I present to you what some will say is possibly the finest car ever made. Here she is, the 1998 Lexus LS 400. Over 25 years old, more than 170,000 miles under the hood, and this car still attracts golf wherever she goes. The design, well, it's aged like a fine wine. It still looks pretty contemporary. Just don't pay too much attention to that Nintendo Game Boy style touch screen on the dash. You may mistake this for a brand new car. Getting into this car, guys, it's like sitting in your lazy boy recliner and traveling in stately comfort. I'm not gonna lie, but I got it better than King Charles. All right, guys, here's some basic info about the 1998 Lexus LS 400 from KBB.com. This car comfortably seats five, has an engine under the hood that produces a smooth and powerful 290 horsepower. Gets 17 miles per gallon in the city, 23 on the highway. And that's why I drive it gently, guys. I drive it like an old man. And guys, some owner reviews left on KBB.com. Love this Lexus LS 400. Dependable, reliable, and all around a great car for anyone of any age. I would recommend this vehicle to my mother, my father, my friend, or foe. And what a nice thing to say. And I'm going to say the same thing, guys. I'm middle-aged. I see a lot of people that are older, senior citizen guys in particular that love this car. And now the new generation, the millennials, and even what's the one younger than them, the Gen Xers, they love this car too. Any age all you gotta have is a little bit of style, oh yeah. Car is butter smooth and with Lexus quality and reliability. Rest easy with this work of art, and that's what it is, a work of art. Gets surprising gas mileage too. I average about 22 to 23 mixed driving and gets upwards of 27 to 28 on the interstate. For the price, would you rather have the pinnacle of Lexus or an Econo Box Accord or similar. It's a clear choice. Look no further. And I completely agree with that. I bought this one in great shape. Just had the timing belt replaced. That's something you really want to pay attention to because the timing belt's an expensive job. Previous owner took meticulous care of it. Garage for its entire life. Spent winters in a warm climate. No rust. So I overpaid. But guess what, guys? It was the best $7,700 I ever spent spend in my life. And if you can, guys, that's how I would go about business when you're looking for a used car. Find an owner that really looked after it. You're going to pay a little bit more money, but guess what? It's an investment in the future. You're going to save money on repairs down the road because these mechanics, they are not cheap. These cars are well-made vehicles. Toyota went all out with this model. 1998 brought variable valve timing and a five-speed trend transmission. Toyota studied American executives, tried to figure out what kind of luxury car they wanted. Toyota's market for this car was businessmen, doctors, lawyers. Basically what they did is take a Mercedes S-Class and make it reliable and more stylish if you ask me. Powerful horsepower and torque. Great transmission and great audio system. Quiet engine and cabin. High quality materials, paint and leather. Still in good shape after 21 years. And I'll agree with that, guys. This car's 25 years. Still looks flawless. Very comfortable for four passengers. Sad Lexus does not make them like this anymore. Unfortunately, I don't know if you're going to be able to buy a brand new Lexus keep it for 25 years with no issues only time will tell my 95 rides quieter and smoother than a recent 1997 car I purchased and that is not a surprise at all guys compare this car with a brand new mid-market Hyundai Ford Chevy and this is gonna give a new car a run for its money seriously guys Wow I am not sure where to start this car still 
feels like it has 20,000 miles on it. Only real work done has been to the timing belt, water pump, and all the 100,000 mile maintenance. Sure, some parts may be a bit pricey, but they will last you a good one to 200,000 miles. And that is for sure. Find a good mechanic who can work on these cars and he may not remember your name because you're not going to be there very often. And just sat down in the cab of the car. Very stately, very classic layout. Easy to understand. Going to start from left to right. Got the seat settings here. Power windows, power doors. As a driver, you get the keys to the kingdom. Control over the windows. Got this classic old big Bodhi car chime when the door is open. And I just opened the door to show you guys all these adjustments you can make to the seat, even lumbar support. You're going to be feeling comfortable no matter what size you are. I'm 6'1". This car fits me like a glove. Now here we go. Going to start this bad boy up. Ah, oh, yeah. Smooth as silk. Put the window down a little bit. Still kind of louder than what you'd experience in a new car. Same thing with the mirror here. Going to adjust the left mirror to show you guys what it's like. Push this over to left. Then you got the arrows. Park and brake here. Gas, which is on the right hand side. The trunk. And then you got this hidden cubby hole here. Kind of blends right in. Got those quarters for the parking meters. Oh, and sorry, I neglected to show you guys the dash. This was the coolest thing back in the day. When the car is turned off, it is completely blank. Nothing there. Look what happens when you turn it on. Whoa, it springs to life out of nothing. Got the temp on the left, RPMs, miles per hour. Then you got the fuel on the right. And if you can't understand the fuel, you got the digital version. Range approximately 193 miles. There's the odometer in the classic green, almost 171,000. And guess what, guys? It is a touch screen. You're going to hear a lot of people on the Lexus forum saying, don't get the touch screen. They don't last. This one has lasted. 25 years, still all original. But if it ever does break, it's going to be a headache because not only does it control the radio, but it also controls the HVAC, the heat, the AC. So it's pretty inconvenient to live without. Check it out right now. Got the Lexus logo. It even has a shadow on the bottom. Nice 1998 graphics there. Brings me back to playing Tetris on my Game Boy. It's pretty much the same. I'm going to turn the radio on. Got FM. Got AM. 1010 wins. You give us 20. 22 minutes will give you the world. All right, let's turn the audio off and focus on the climate, guys. Check it out. Driver and passenger each have their own controls. Just pretend there's an invisible wall here. So if the driver wants it at 65, passenger wants it at 80, you got a tough situation. Nobody's going to be happy. But it's 61 degrees out. Still kind of warm in here in the sun. We're going to put the AC on low. So right now it's just the fan. Going to go AC. Get that compressor kick in. And what's the cold? as it goes to max cold what is that 65 max cold max cold see how this bad boy sounds when it's on high whoa very nice you also have the auto setting i don't like that because when you hit auto it automatically blasts out at full fan right in your grill i like to ease my way into it with the low or very low setting got the old map guide here honestly i've never used that it's way way outdated with google maps apple maps who even needs it right got the old tape player showing my age here but i still do have some cassette tapes haven't used them but if i ever wanna it's nice to know that i can cd player right here that's the top part of the dash very nice multi cds here also multi cds here hours and hours of music honestly i've never used this either i'd take it out if i could just to make more room in the dash it seems like more of a hassle than it's worth but at least you got these indentations here you want to put a cup have a little picnic that's convenient too Got a key so you can lock her up if you want. Decent amount of room in there. Got an extra pair of sunglasses, napkins, a mask. Show you guys the leather. Look at how plush this is. Nice and soft. A little bit of fading over here. Driver's side's worse, but still not that bad for a 25-year-old car. Storage compartment. Got the top one for little stuff. Got this velvet bottom. Got a gift card in there right now. And then there's another button down here, and that reveals a deeper well. Got another extra pair of sunglasses, more napkins, power supply down here. 
And if you want the look to be more flush, you can just tuck in those cup holders. And you got all wood grain, baby. The ashtray and cigarette lighter also fold shut, but I always leave it open, use it as more storage right here. Got your typical park, reverse, neutral, three speeds here, three different modes. I've never even messed with that. Cruise control over here if you want it. I've never used it on this car. I don't plan on ever using it either. I don't like to get complacent. Want to be one with the road. Automatic headlights if you want. They automatically come on when it gets dark. Another thing I don't use. And you got your windshield washer fluid over here. Sunshade here. Nice little thing in the corner if you want to tuck in, say, a ticket from a parking garage. And you get a mirror with a light on your way to the opera, an important meeting. Make sure your tie's straight, right? And everybody seems to love this feature, guys. It's a mini sunshade just for this little area above the mirror. Passenger also has his little compartment here. Mirror with a light. Passenger has this convenient assist handle. Getting in and out of the car. It is kind of a low car, but with one touch, it opens all by itself. Look at that. One touch close also. All right, let's close this up. Gonna show you guys a little bit of the back seat. Plenty of room. I'm 6'1". My knees aren't even coming anywhere close to the seat in front of me. Full control of the windows back here. Got my own ashtray if I smoked. Looks like at one time there was a cigarette lighter here. I guess now you can use it to charge your cell phone if you want. Pretty deep ashtray. You know, some of these business executives chain smoking after these important meetings. Place to put some magazines back here. More storage down here. Control where the air is going, even if you're in the back seat. Just want to show you guys the minor fading on the driver's seat after 25 years. No rips or tears, though. Going to open the trunk. Check it out. Douche. And here we are. A nice size trunk. Probably fit a couple of golf bags in here. Beach chairs. Whatever you want. The original California car duster. That's very, very important when you own an old school Lexus. Emergency trunk escape. Pull to open if you lock yourself in here somehow. Toolbox built in. Doesn't even look like it was ever used. And check it out, Japan, Japan, etched right in the silver. Hope we never have to use this. Got that spare tire and jack down below. And check out the noise when I close this. Ooh, yeah, that is solid. There's a gas cap I talked about on the right-hand side. That definitely messed me up a few times when I first bought the car. And check it out, the little L emblem. It fell off on the right-hand side of the car on both the back tire and the front tire, but it's still on the other side. So it only came off on the passenger side. Not quite sure why. Previous owner had this little line of paint put around it. Still looks good even to this day. Even the rubber here hasn't broken down at all, really. Fan's going right now because the AC's on. It's a hot day, but check out these headlights. Look at how clear they are. Gonna open up the trunk for you guys so you can have a look. Even the engine, shiny as can be. Could be a little cleaner, I'm not gonna lie. But hey, you know what? Could be a whole lot dirtier too, and I've never cleaned it. Do a little bit of cleaning right now. Get these leaves out of here. Thank you. Get out of there. Yeah. Even the fluids look fresh. Got all this padding in here to keep it insulated. Keep it nice and quiet in the cab. Ba-boom. Here's another thing I want to draw your attention to, guys. Toyota on a Lexus LS400. Obviously Lexus, we all know it's a luxury version of Toyota. A lot of Toyota parts here, interchangeable. You look hard enough, you see it all over the place. Toyota, 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 it's everywhere. But guess what, you know what that says to me? Every time I see the word Toyota, I think reliable. And now for the moment all you guys have been waiting for, I'm gonna let the horses run a little bit. Put this up, fasten our seatbelt. And take a drink of Carmel and Farms 99 cent coffee. And that's a nice thing about buying a used car, guys. You're gonna have some money left over in your pocket to indulge in the finer things in life, like a coffee once in a while. A lot of people out there, unfortunately, drowning in debt because of their car payment. And guess what? Their piece of junk car is depreciating faster than they can even pay down that loan. My advice, get an old Lexus, even an old Toyota Avalon. You'd be riding in style and still have a few fish nagels in your pocket. So here we go. Parking brake is off. Gonna turn that AC off. Gotta concentrate. 
Put her into drive. Give her a little bit of gas. Oh yeah. Feel the power just barely tapping the gas pedal. We are in a smooth parking lot, but even if we were in a slightly bumpy parking lot, we would not be feeling the bumps in this car. One more comment I'm gonna make about this car, guys. It is a boaty car. It's a big car. If you're used to driving compact cars, it is gonna take you a little bit of time to get used to judging the bigger angles, to get used to parking. Parallel parking with this car, it does take practice. And we got a stop sign here, right on red. Red light, red light special. Powerful, powerful brakes. They stop on a dime. You're never gonna catch yourself worried about these brakes. And just waiting for that green light. Gonna let those horses run. Rev up your engines, here we go. And we got a light right up there. Just gonna give you guys a taste of what this car has under the hood. Oh yeah, feel the power, baby. Makes a nice noise too. And guess what? This car has such a stately look. Oh, of course you pull right in front of me. This car has such a stately look. They're gonna think you're an old grandpa or a successful businessman. Not possibly somebody who's out here flooring it every two seconds. But like I said, I don't do that. I do drive like an old man very, very slow because that's the advantage of this car. You get it for the cloud-like ride. You wanna relax. You don't wanna be looking all over the place. Oh, is there a cop? What's the speed limit? No. You want to be cool, cool as a cucumber. One hand on the wheel, got some good tunes on there. Let those punk kids pass you with their souped up cars. You are in an old LS400. You're already a level above that. You don't need to compete. Driving an LS400, it's a sign of maturity if you ask me. Getting a little warm, AC back on low. And I want to get a little bit more space between us and the next car to show you guys a little bit more more of the performance aspects of this car. So you need to pass a tractor trailer on the highway. You are not gonna be worried about whether you have the power to do it or not. No such thing as struggling on the interstate with this car. So here we go, gonna give it a little gas. And you see the nose lift a little bit. Ooh, already up to 60 miles an hour. Can't go much past that, guys. Not trying to get a ticket for you. Just wanted to give you a taste of what it's got. Guys, do you have an old LS400? Has it been reliable for you? Do you have any tips? Where do you take it to get fixed? What are the most common problems? Leave your knowledge down below so we can all benefit. Guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you really liked it and you wanna see more videos, I'm gonna make a lot more about this LS400. Please subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Well, and before we go, just wanna show you guys this boom. Powerful horn. That is a full-size car, baby. Reminds me of one of those old Cadillacs from back in the day. Until next time, safe driving. Keep your eyes on the road and your foot on the gas. Jonathan Brown Menzies, signing off.